Man, she's back. The Tundra is back. With some AC and some window tent. You can actually see out them hose now. You see, you could, couldn't even see that. We're gonna go knock some shit out. Took the old backpack uh, rack off. Acme's back with the brand new act. Now I know Peyton's excited to start driving that Tundra because he's been putting a lot of miles on his F-250. So, anyways, stay tuned. We're going to get after it today. Nice truck. Is it cold in there? Nice. This is a yard that I'm really proud of because at the beginning of this year, there wasn't a any Bermuda grass whatsoever. This was all weeds. Week, week by week, it's getting better. It's starting to fill in the, the spots where all the weeds were. Man, I'm really proud of this yard. It'll look good by uh, June. Once all this fills in and the rest, rest of them weeds die off, Man, it'll look good. Can't wait. Stay tuned, because uh, this is one of the yards that I'm pretty proud of. I mean, it was out of control bad. It's been nothing but weeds for the last six years. Oh, and his backyard was especially bad. Acme truck number two is back in the house, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Man, it looks good. That was nothing but weeds. And they're all dead, so now the grass has got to spread over. I put uh, some grass seed down, so hopefully it takes off soon. Anyways. Lex is finishing up blowing. She's really good at that. always looks good. Yeah. Let me get a quick shot of it while it's here. He's a uh, a weekly guy, so I was checking in to see if he was home and he wasn't so and it it still looks freshly cut there's only about like that eh, about a quarter inch of growth on there he likes his his lawn cut at two inches every time no higher no higher 
no shorter. Two inches. Some people are real particular about their lawns. I don't mind cutting his at two inches just because it's so flat and, and easy to maneuver, but most of our other customers, I don't ever cut anything at two inches. It's just hard on the mower. and I today I got this I got the uh, little mowers just in case the bad boy didn't like the squishiness of a yard she's got the bad boy and both sprayers on there we've just been doing a little bit of everything today mowing spraying going just you know you know just making that that cheddar, that cheddar. Stay tuned for more cheddar making. We're gonna make all of the cheddar this summer. So if you wanna, if you wanna stick around and learn how you can make some cheddar too, uh, yeah, we'll show you how to do that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know what I'm saying? This is all from today, baby today we probably made about nine hundred dollars today and we've only worked like five hours no nah, it's probably closer to a thousand bucks because we did like six five yards six yards and not one of them took longer than one hour so stay tuned guys and we'll show you some more cool shit Pretty cool that the tundra's back in action. Nice truck. Thanks. I like this truck too. Drives good. Yeah, it does. Where do I pull up? Um. You want me to go straight and just pull right there? Straight by the, the River Ridge Estate sign? Or? Yeah, I'll pull up first. It's like a damn champ, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. She's all done. That's not done. Just she's all greased up too, so. It's running good. It's good. You know what's hot though? What? I got up here and I was like, Parts. We need to clean that thing out. You can't leave the seat for it if you're sitting in the seat. You right. Get fucking back off. Clean the damn thing off. Oh man, it's all good. I thought you were bring that out there so I could weld that thingy on yesterday. My bad. Yeah, I just got busy. I got busy, busy. You're gonna get them 23 yards break. You better get on it. I'm going right now, bro. I just came to bring y'all the blower that John forgot. I was driving down the road. I was like, I know we didn't lose it.
lose it in a half a mile. Right. No, he left it. Well, have a good day, bro. Yeah, yeah, I got in a fight with my sprayer today. The mother trucker broke on me uh, about 15 yards in, so I had to get down on my hands and knees. Uh, a little, the little metal piece on, on those yellow nozzles, let me show you this real quick. Let me show you real quick. You see this right here? See that metal piece in there? Well, so that thing's not supposed to move around. That's supposed to be stationary. So that way whenever it's spraying and it's down like that, it disperses like, like this way. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like this, it'll be like this. <laughs> well, anyways, that little metal piece in there, it broke. So, uh... It's about, it was about time. I went ahead and upgraded the old girl's uh, nozzles. I got all brand new nozzles. And they, uh, they're about the same output, uh, just a little bit more. But, yeah. What's up, guys? How many yards have we sprayed today? How many yards have we sprayed today? Like, oh man, we're on our like 15th one. I oh, know. Stay tuned, guys. We're going on our 16th one. We're gonna go till the sun goes down. I got in a fight with my sprayer today. I don't want to hear it. I've already. Wash my hands, wash my face. Uh, the only thing that really will take this off is a shower or some exfoliating soap. And I don't have any exfoliating soap out in the field, so I'm just gonna have to wait. But anyways, this is number 18 and number 19 of the day. Um, my buddy Scott finally sent those yards over, so uh, we started getting after it today and we got a pretty big chunk of that list done. We're gonna try to get two more done before the sun goes down. So stay tuned guys, peace.